Jesus came with his disciples to a country place called Gethsemane, and he said to them, Sit down here while I go over yonder and pray. Then he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and he began to be saddened and exceedingly troubled. He said to them, My soul is sad, even unto death. Wait here and watch with me. He went forward a little, and falling prostrate, he prayed saying, Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass away from me, yet as I, not as I will, but as you will. Please kneel. Almighty and eternal Father, accept our prayer of thanksgiving for your beloved Son, our Savior and Lord, as we call his sacred passion. Send the Spirit of Christ into our hearts. We beg you, so that whether we pray or work, we might do all in union, in union with Christ our Redeemer. Amen. Jesus, Lord, Condemned to death. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Again, the high priest began to ask him and said to him, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Living One? And Jesus said to him, I am. And you shall see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the power and coming to the clouds of heaven. But the high priest tore his garments and said, What further need? Of witnesses, you have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? And they all condemned him as liable to death. Be still. The kings of earth rise up, and the princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord says to me, You are my son. This day I begotten you. Ask of me, and you will give the nations for an inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. Let us pray. All powerful and eternal God, for proclaiming the truth of your Son, Jesus Christ, is condemned to death by crucifixion. He stir up your love in our hearts, so that we might be ever faithful to all what you have told us, and fear nothing more than the loss of your friendship through sin. Amen. Now the cross has Jesus for it has become for us who share it the jewel cross of victory. Second station, Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because of our holy cross, you have redeemed the world. And Pilate said to the Jews, Behold your king. But they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. And so they took Jesus and led him away, bearing the cross for himself. Let us kneel. Who would believe that we have heard to whom he has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up like a sapling before him, like a sheep from the parched earth. There was in him no stately belly to make us look at him, no appearance that would attract us to him. He was rejected and avoided by men, a man of suffering, accustomed to infirmity, one of those born. And we tell him he knows his name. Let us pray. Father in heaven, your son Jesus Christ, he still carries his cross in his persecuted brothers and sisters throughout the world. Make us feel the needs of all persons.
so that we might as readily help them as we would help Jesus himself. Amen. Amen. We can Jesus met his grieving mother, she who made the Lord our brother. Now the sword her heart has pierced. The fourth station, Jesus meets his afflicted mother. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have the name. After standing by the cross of Jesus, his father and his mother's sister, Mary and Cleophas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother, the disciples standing by, whom he loved, he said to his father, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. What can I compare you for that of Jerusalem? What example can I show you for your comfort? And where is the God of Zion? For great is the sea in your distress. Who can heal you? Let us pray. O blessed Lord, at your passion, a sword of sorrow pierced the loving heart of your mother, as Simeon had foretold. Grant that we who look back on their sorrows with compassion I receive the healing fruits of your suffering. Amen. Simon stopped his hesitation, not foreseeing his proud station, called to bear the cross of Christ. Fifth station, Simon of Cyrene, now Jesus, to bear his cross. We adore your Christ and we praise you. That's why your holy cross you have to make you grow. And when they had mocked Jesus, they took the purple cloak off and put his own clothes on him. And they led him out to be crucified. Then they forced a certain passerby, Simon of Cyrene, coming from the country to, have to take up his cross. They brought Jesus to the place of Gagata, a name meaning the place of the skull. In the loud voice, I cry out to the Lord. With my loud voice, I confess the Lord. My complaints, I pour out for him. Before him, I may burn from distress. And my spirit is strengthened within me. You know my path. In the way of all my soul, and then he has dropped for me. I look to the surprise to see that there is no one who obeys me. 
sharing the cross, the strengthening and console us the belief that we bear all things in union with you. We have taken upon yourself even our guilt. Amen. Amen.
earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass. large. 
But looking up, they saw the stone had been rolled back. And upon entering the tomb, they were amazed to see a young man sitting at the right side and clothed with a white robe. He said to them, Do not be terrified. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. I believe in God, the Almighty God, Creator of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, the only Son of the Lord, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father of my life. From there is the come to judge the evil of men. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the 